Welcome back to the Cellucor channel. We are in Texas. Uh, there's only one man in the world that could drag me to Texas. That's my lifelong coach, Cash Kidry, and one of my best buds. So today we're gonna be training back. We're gonna do a hellacious back workout. tendency on back day, it's it's so mind and muscle that whenever, for whatever reason, your mind and muscle connection, when you're looking up and you envision pulling up, yeah. changes everything than when you're looking downward. When you're looking downward, a lot of times, your sternal plyto mass story tends to pull you forward and it takes away from your back. So. But I don't have quit in the side of me. I will not jump in these boxes they throw at me. Talking to God in the so much he's showing me. Shaping me, growing me. Taking me so and sees. A growing tree. Y'all get a load of me. Yeah, don't let them slow on me. I get the bread like a grocery. The rack pull, for the whole sole purpose of what I'm trying to accomplish with this movement, it's to really add thickness to the middle of the back. Obviously you're hitting the lats, but the middle of the back. So if you think about it, if you're doing a deadlift from the floor, from the bottom to here, it's mainly all legs and a lot of low, low back. And you're putting your body in a dangerous position where this here allows you to focus more on the sole purpose of what we're trying to accomplish, get the thickness in the back and it's safer. So that's, rack pulls is one of my two favorite back movements there is. So what I have here for him based on his height is a three inch lift. So puts it right about that area within an inch. You know, so we wanted just low knee and because uh, you don't want to go too high because then you're basically just going from here to here. You know, you want to still come down a little bit to the power position is what they call it. Good. Oh yeah. You can see it activating back here. We're going from lat, rhomboids right here. Three, two, great job. You want to be almost like 45. Yeah. And then the whole premise is to keep the chest up, arch the back. You never want to be over, round it, and you don't want to be all the way straight up. So you want to keep that pressure to where when you pull, you're really isolating the lats. And to yeah. finish through, you're gonna hit back to the middle of the back. Yes. For back, there's there's no way around it. Like anyone that wants to try to reinvent the wheel and do all machines. Look, machines are good for finishers on back for detail, but to build the thickness, you're not getting away from these two things we just did. You know, you look at all the guys with the greatest backs in bodybuilding. You know, Ronnie Coleman, Dorian Yates, Jay, they all implemented these these movements. And there's a reason, and that's the reason for it. So. Sadiq Hadzovic. Yep. Sadiq Hadzovic. <laughs> One more. Perfect. Perfect. Cash does this with like seven plates. Actually, actually, you you discredit me by two. I've actually done it with nine plates of reps. Yeah. Oh. I taught him that. 
I got photo, I got a video oh, of it too I'll, doing it. I'll be able to show you. Yeah, but yeah. There you go. Oh yeah. Sir. Nice and low. Stretch. Tracking. Three. Two. Stay low. Good. This here basically by we're stretching and contracting all in one one, one fluid motion. Like I said, this is a leg machine, so there's really nothing you're gonna find on back that you can duplicate this exact motion. And it allows you to really stretch the lats going forward and come back in one fluid motion to really isolate and hit that lower lat, outer lat, so. Four, three, two, straight the whole way coming back. Yep, really stimulating back here. Come all the way forward. There you go. It's nice to switch up the environment, uh, but the environment is irrelevant. No matter if I'm in New York, if I'm in Texas, if I'm in Guatemala, I'm training hard. I'm up and down. Yes. What we're trying to attack is an area that a lot of guys never truly hit, is the like the rectors, middle back area, to where we're trying to come back to really stimulate it. So we're doing that eight to 10 reps, followed by rows to where we're activating a little more lats. So everything we're doing, I mean, granted, we always want to hit the lats, but we're focused more on middle, lower back. You know, and that, that happens to be a weakness for many guys. Come on, one more and row, six reps. There you go. Back is a movement that, you know, like like certain body parts, you can do a mixture of heavy, like really heavy. Control though, always control. Heavy and then some higher reps. Back is that body part. You have to have the mixture of heavy. You know, where some other ones like biceps, I never really feel you should ever go real heavy. Number one, easiest muscle to tear and likely you're not gonna develop it. So I tend to stay in the lowest eight reps and in the highest 15, 16 is where I like to work. Yep. Well, when you're, when you're dealing with men's physique, you gotta remember you only have two shots, front and back. So there's only one back shot. And when you're standing there and if you're widening the lats, it can make you look very shallow in the middle of the back. So you really have to have your, you be on your A game with the density and detail in that mid or lower back. Yeah, like a guy that can normally row 315 with a barbell, like routinely, put one plate on each side, he's sitting there, he's like, why am I so fucking weak? It's like, you're not weak, you have no leverage. Oh yeah, come on. Four. Three. Come on, two more. Two. All the way up. Relax, good. What are you doing with your head, bro? Just As it down. gets heavier, are you like lifting? No, it? no, because you're gonna put a lot of pressure. Yeah, no, like but it's hard. It gets you. I know, heavy. I know it is. I know it is. You get fatigued. Oh. Right, pull a little lower. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All of this is stimulating. Good. Five. Oh. Finish strong. Four. Come on. Three. Two. All right, guys, I hope you loved that video because we loved filming this for you guys. A tremendous amount of work goes into making these videos, so we'd appreciate it if you smash that like button, subscribe, and comment below.
Peace out. Exhausted, exhausted. This passion is never exhausted. And you cannot stop it. Nah, you cannot stop it.